I don't have anger. A lot of people would have anger towards God or toward, yeah, I don't have anger. I just question why. How are you? All right. Good. This is Chester. It's a great name, by the way. Oh, thanks. It's a great name. So, Chester, normally when I film these videos, I have homeless and hitchhikers and wanderers and and sometimes I just have really interesting people that I think have an interesting or inspiring story to tell. And I think you fit that category. Um, for those watching that don't know a little bit about your story, um, I guess just tell us you're on a, an unusual and unexpected journey. Tell us about it. Well, I mean, for the most part, I've held a healthy life and and um, this January, I wasn't feeling well since Christmas, and I finally, my sister, who's a nurse, finally suggested I go to the emergency room, and about three in the morning, they tell me I have stage four terminal pancreatic cancer that is metastasized or spread to the colon, the spleen, and the in lining of the abdomen. So, and I had driven myself to the hospital and kind of got the news alone and so it was a little shocker I just turned 55 so it's kind of a uh, challenge or I, I, I don't have anger a lot of people would have anger towards God or toward, yeah I don't have anger I just question why and why now and why me um, and thinking I have a, apparently a higher calling or that he wants one of my first thoughts coming out of my I don't know if it came out of my mouth or my brain but um, that he must need tour guides in heaven <laughs> because I love history and tourism and I've always this year was going to be the year that I started a tour business and do that on the weekends in my 9 to 5 job during the week but um, so tour guides in heaven that yeah that's a great name for a book Chester <laughs> yeah but, um, so, um, that, I mean, I'm, I'm obviously put in God's hands and trying to let him decide, you know, when I go and how I go and all that. But, so do you have any advice for anyone who might be watching, who's going through something tough and wondering how they're going to get to tomorrow the gratitude you know just be grateful for what you do have and um, it's kind of a little easier when you're getting this attention and stuff um, like I said I'm just trying to put it in God's hands and let him you know be the driver of the experience but um, my aunt said when when we were that first weekend, she said, whispered to me, she's like, you're going to have one hell of a reunion because <laughs> I lost my mom and both grandmothers within six months in 2002. And that was kind of hmm. the one grandmother I lived with and my mom, they were my best friends. And I've never married or had kids. So they were like really close. I was close to them. And so to think that I have the opportunity to meet them or, or see them, you know, that gives me a little extra um, kind of look forward to I'm not rushing it or wanting to this crazy world that we're living in right now I don't know I'm it doesn't look so bad <laughs> where I'm going but it I, I mean I miss I miss family I miss people and friends but love yourself and love others and Believe in a higher being. Um, that will help you get through. And take it as it comes and enjoy the ride as best you can. Like I said, uh, I hope if someone can can get, you know, if I help someone, that 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 feels good. You will. You absolutely. Not that will. I wanted to. 
cancer disease to, you know, to do it. But I mean, if, like I said, if it benefits or helps someone, then it makes me get through it, but you know, better. Good. Yeah, I think your willingness to be open is gonna bless a lot of lives, for sure.